Hello everybody, this is Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers and I'm going to take you for a quick tour of this lovely looking Quicksilver 505 cabin for to give you an idea of her layout, where things are, what kind of condition you think she might be in and if she might ultimately be a boat for you. So here we are, we're standing in the cockpit and if I just uh, lean back a little bit, we can see the full extent, extent of the cockpit and uh, also my feet probably if I go far enough, but uh, we don't really want to see those. But here we go, we've got a, a nice cockpit, plenty of room, plenty of room for both seats to swivel, move backwards and forwards, etc. Nice companion way down here to get past with no squeeze also and seating at the back. So let's have a look in further detail, shall we? Well, let's start at the top. You can see we've got a nice tall bimini there. I suspect that hasn't been used much. Now, that's uh, when that's over the boat, that's going to really extend your time outside, whether it be in the sun, keeping the sun's rays off you, which is also important, but also uh, in the in possible rain as well. So, uh, yeah, it really gives that uh, added flexibility to the, to the boat. And uh, it's, it is quite tall. The owner has had it modified so that it can be made a bit shorter so that we can go under those lower bridges with ease if we like. How cool is that? So just moving to the back of the boat, if we just look over the stern, we can see we've got the big fat Mercury 60 horsepower four stroke freshly serviced in august of 2023 really nice we've got uh, a, an access ladder on the starboard stern side there with a nice grab handle there so we can climb in and out of the water with ease no worries at all and if you just move back we can see we've got a nice athwart ships bench seat here this one here does open up if i can just do it one-handed there we go that comes forward to allow the engine to tilt and uh, quite a useful little cubby there if you wanted to sit and just maintain the steering gear etc etc but uh, that might be up to you if we lift up the um the base of the cockpit seats here you can see we've got nice little lockers there with uh, got uh, seals there as well so it should be reasonably watertight and there's also one under the starboard side there really really useful and uh, you'll notice we have a fitting here and a fitting there if you look in the photos and elsewhere in the videos you'll see that we have uh, fittings here that go all the way across and more cushions so that should lend itself to a nice big double sunbed so lounging around in the sun is something this boat is capable of how cool is that nice uh, deck lining here we've got a fitting here for a cockpit table which is stored down below so we can reconfigure the cockpit if we want to we can turn these seats around and we can have a real family picnic affair and if i just lift up this locker lid here this is a final cockpit locker so that's down to the build you can see we've got access to batteries access to the bilge itself fuel filter and the fuel tank alongside with the electrical isolator there no worries at all if i can just drop the lid on that with one hand without dropping it there we go brilliant so good access down there and if i just turn around and look forwards you can see we've got uh, twin seats here this the bolsters move as well so we can lift these up and if we want to stand and park our bottoms on here whilst we're flying forwards at high speed instead of sitting down that's always rather useful too same on both seats and uh, let's move over to the helm position. So here you can see we've got uh, good instrumentation, great view forwards, marred at the moment by this is the, I'll let you have a quick look at the, the cockpit tent. So this is unused according to the owner, looks all nice and new. There's a close up of the upholstery itself. So with that fitted to the boat and the, the fittings are just to the side of the boat here and around the top of the screen, that should give you another room and allow extra flexibility on this boat so we can sit in here in comfort and warmth whilst it's blowing again outside how cool is that just looking over the top of all that stuff if you just look down there we can see we've got a reasonably large uh, four deck for a boat of her size we have uh, an anchor locker nestled into that we've got the pulpit there We've got nav lights either side and you may just be able to see that yeah there's a jockey wheel just poking out of the front there so this boat does come with a trailer and we've got uh, cleats port and starboard forward and aft as well really really good Coming back to the helm position, so I'm sitting where you may be steering in the future. Um, if this stuff wasn't all in the way, we'd have a good view over there through the, we've got a nice clear uh, plexi screen there, no probs. And we've got the throttle and the up and down controls here. And uh, also we've got the, the dead man switch or the, the kill cord here. So yeah, always make sure you're wearing it on a boat like this, because although we have nice deep bulwarks here, it is possible to lose yourself over the side and the boats keep going, which we really wouldn't want to do. Looking at the instrument console, you can see we've got a cup holder somewhere for some kind of GPS. We've got wheel steering. We've got the stereo controls, stereo speakers down here and also down here and uh, a minor electrical switch panel just nestling behind here. And controls wise, we've got the engine speed. We've got the boat speed. 
speed. We've got the trim level and also the fuel tank contents indicator along with the 12 volt charging point here. Here uh, is uh, room for some kind of, if you wanted to put a, a, a big flat screen chart plotter, uh, that would be up to you, but uh, I'm sure there's room for something there to be fitted. No worries at all. All looking very nice. Uh, and if I just swap hands with the camera, you can see that we've got a, a nice and easy companion way to open and close here. This just slides open, sorry, slides closed and slides open. If I can do it with one hand while I'm holding the camera, can't quite manage it, but there we go. Um, nice and easy to get in, get in and out. We've got a nice wide companion way here. Uh, also good depth that way as well. So uh, we can get in there reasonably easy. No worries at all. And uh, once we're in, if I just clamber in, we can see, or well, before I clamber in, let's have a little scout around on the port side here. We've got seating, we've got a stowage, we've got a little window here letting in lots of light. We have one port, one starboard. That coupled with the companion where I am sitting lets lots of light and air in, which is great. And you can see we've got nice upholstery down here we've got cushions here and we've got all the boards needed to make that bench seat at the back and we've also got cushions here and fittings to make to fill this and make it into one lovely great big uh, uh, lounging stroke sleeping area so a lovely great big double for the weekend and if i just hop in i'll just turn around with my back towards the bow there we go so we're looking stern here. Sorry about the view of my legs. And uh, there we go. There's a companion way to the right hand side. We've got some storage up here. We have some storage here and behind here as well. Uh, and generally, we've got a carbon monoxide alarm there too. Generally feeling quite nice and clean and uh, plenty of room for a weekend or longer for a couple. Or you might want to stick a couple of kids in here. But uh, yeah, all good fun and a very nice place to be. So this has been Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers, just taking you for a quick tour around this Quicksilver 505 cabin thanks for watching and uh, if you want more videos pictures virtual reality to have a look around this boat just go to boatshedbrighton.com take care have a great day